So one of the members on U Chapter 2 asked if anyone had a way of working out how to calculate the linear length of saw cutting needed if a specified area was broken up into two foot by two foot squares. Um, obviously, when this is kind of a square or rectangle, it's quite easy to work out. But um, if it's an irregular shape, then what do you do? We've a uh, few of us have had a look at ways of doing this and um, chatted about drawing grids and kind of copying and pasting them so they fit the shape. Um, and then I thought of a slightly different way, which was instead of making the grid fit the shape, make the shape fit a grid. Um, and this is how I've done it. So I've got a blank page here set to one to 200. I will just draw an irregular shape. That'll do. And then we've got to get this divided up. So I've made um, a set of grids, which is on my second page, which if I come out of that is, that's an A1 page and it's divided up into two meters by two meter grid. So my way of making this work is to use spaces. So if I create a new space and basically trace over this one, Oops, go back on that. There's my space, I'll call it area one. Showing up here. So what I'm going to do is copy that. I'm going to go onto my second page and paste it anywhere. So I will rename it. So that's my shape. Um, and if I show you the markup table, my my grid is done in two meters per two meters. So if I filter or sort on the area two space, you can see. It includes all of the lines which are fully included in this area. So if I actually come down and highlight, I'll select all of these, and zoom in, you can see all of the lengths which are fully included, which is in, it has added up. Now, obviously, it's not perfect, this system, because it um, doesn't include certain ones, certain lengths that are not fully enclosed, like this length here, this length here. But um, I mean, obviously, you've got this length here, which is included, which probably won't need to be cut. But it gives you a good idea. And that is instant. What you can also do is if I click off of this. And if I click onto my shape again, what you can actually do is, if I go back up to the top, you can actually move this around. So 684 meters, now 696. You, you can, as I say, it's, it's more fitting the shape to the grid, 668. So, you can have a play about, see which one suits your um, your liking best, really, and make this work. And obviously, this is fully reusable. You're not altering the grid at all. And if you wanted to, and you wanted to make some quick adjustments to the area, all you do is go into the space, and you can drag and change things and everything's updated automatically. So that's my that's my way of uh, coming up with a solution. Perhaps if uh, anyone else out there has got some other ideas, why not join you chapter two and um, jump on board, give some answers or even ask some questions. Thanks. Bye.